Hey guys, so today I'm going to Comic Con in Chicago, Midwest Comic Con. I just picked up my first friend, Nadi. Yeah. <laughs> you good? Oh shoot, I like that shirt. We out here. Oh. Tom Holland, here I come, baby. Ooh. I think we matching. Oh, I brought two too. Hello, <laughs> uh. she posed. <laughs> That's not his mom. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna go pick up our second friend. Hopefully she's awake because she'd be sleeping. And her name is Jen. Here we come. You didn't tell her? Yeah, I did tell her. But she was like, oh, I'm gonna look ugly in there. <laughs> can't Sorry. Relate. You can't relate. <laughs> All right. See so you guys at the train station. No. Picking up Jen. Then train station. What? She said she was gonna look ugly. I miss it. <laughs> you said you were gonna look ugly. Yeah, I had my brother wake me up. <laughs> and he did my makeup too. <laughs> so we're on the train. Oh, that's it. That's it. Uh -huh. See you in Chicago. Huh? What? Say it. Go. What? Say it. <laughs> what? Nothing. Oh. Jen, do you want to say anything? Uh, why are you that close? <laughs> <laughs> so I can hear you because this train is loud. Uh, I don't know. Excited to what? see Tom Holland. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I already said it. Oh, wait, and Jake, I mean, Oop. stereo. I'm ready for you. <laughs> Brianna Me Todd. too. Brianna Todd, where you at? Game of Thrones. Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot. Daryl Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you in Chicago. <laughs> out here huh breathing <laughs> where are we where's this bus yeah, my bus money <laughs> 32 stops to go ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, man you can't see steve stuff it is yay we're here we're early woke me up at 6 a.m. for no freaking reason. Nobody woke you up, boo-boo. <laughs> you woke up yourself. Okay, time to represent. Run. <laughs> Run. Run. And we proud. Oh, oh, not proud? <laughs> I said we proud and not his way. I had the money to go to VIP. She had the money to go to VIP. We had, we all had the money. We all had the money. We rich, we rich. <laughs> we didn't want to seem attached. We didn't want to spend five hundred and fifty dollars to see Tom Holland. <laughs> we didn't want to do that. That's not something we do. <laughs> Thank you. We out here. We out here, Jen. Jen. What? We out here. We out here. <laughs> Hey, look! Oh, shit, like the Myers is out here. Uh, where'd he go? Uh, <laughs> I know. Gwendoline, we're coming. Gwendoline, Brianna of Tar, there we go. Did you, did you feel like your character was done justice in the final season? Because you worked real hard. I have to say that. I did. I did because I love that Brienne got to have this sexual experience, her first sexual experience. Sexual experience! Sexual experience! But I love that she got to have something she desired, that she wanted to have. She wanted to have that. I love that she elected to have that experience, that she undertook it. It was her choice. I love that her storyline for the final season wasn't defined by that. How Brienne of Tarth ends up is she gets the promotion she's always wanted and is alive. <laughs> A lot more than other characters can say. <laughs> yeah. I got a promotion and I'm still alive! But I, I love that about it. I love that it wasn't, it didn't tear her down. 
the fact that she had that experience with Jamie Lannister and it didn't go, it didn't, it didn't live on. It didn't, it didn't demolish her. It didn't break her down. She went through a human experience and she experienced the part of the wide variety of human emotions that we can have as earrings. Which ones? Ooh. Hey, just took a picture of him and we're like, hey, we met him. Y'all, we met Kit Harrington. <laughs> Harrington. Ooh, I pronounced his name wrong. <laughs> it's good. It's freezing here. It's so cold in Chicago. Yeah, I have all my clothes on right now. Yeah. Everything he wants. Yes. <laughs> Uh, now you have another kind of love interest. We saw a little peek of a sign language book in the back of Daryl's pocket. In, in Daryl's pocket. I, I, I don't know who knows how to do sign language here, but there's certain little things. If you do them wrong, they mean something totally different. So there's a, we did this. We did this one scene and. It, I, I think I, I raised, instead of doing it from here, I did it from here, and then I did it from here. So, this means bitch, right? And this means bastard. So, I'm like coming in, doing my thing, and I'm like, boom, and they're like, no, 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 no. I'm like, what I do, what I do? And so, everyone's kind of having a good laugh at my expense, because I keep messing up. But, uh, uh, it, it, I like her character. I like I like my character. I like our relationship. Um, I like my relationship with Carol, of course. And that that one gets really complicated this year, especially like if you look at all the things that's happened to Carol. She's lost so much, you know, and it's she's become very damaged because of it. So there's a lot of that kind of relationship happening this year. For Tom Holland. Not as nervous. Oh, what the? <laughs> Why do you look like that? You look crazy. <laughs> I'm turning crazy. <laughs> You know, whether it's a school teacher who stays behind after class to help a kid struggling or, or a, you know, a nurse who puts in an extra shift or a soldier or someone who really, really looks out for other people without asking for anything in return. I think that's for me what defines a song. Um, um, you could just say Tom Holland, it's fine. 
But he is, yeah, he is a superhero to me. <laughs> Romance is real, y'all. I think. I think I think it's it, to me it's about you know there there's what there's sort of like the idea of the group and what a group thinks and if you believe something different that you believe something good and you use in your heart you know that um, like Tom said I think something that is selfless but potentially actually is going against a larger idea but you know it is for good um, to fight to work hard to get to that goal and even the little moments I mean today was such a wonderful day because there are these little moments of kindness everywhere and I feel like that's where superheroes lie in all those little moments of kindness and where people feel uh, good connected with each other I felt that pretty powerfully today and I feel like that's just a piece of what a superhero is but what do I know I'm, I play a villain so don't ask me been around the world with Tom, meeting every single one of you as best we can, and it is so inspiring. So thank you so much, always. It's been an honor. What? Y'all, we got on the wrong train. We going back to Chicago. We going back to Chicago. Nana, are you okay? I told them you didn't listen to them. What? No, you didn't. I didn't check the time. I didn't realize it. Wait, Jen, you said it and we still ignored you. Yeah, no one ever listens to me. Yeah, she did. She said this is going the wrong direction and we still didn't. Yeah, I said this is going the wrong direction. And then we were no, all, she said, said that. No, I know. And then I said it after. No, I you did it. I, I questioned her. I was like, this is going the wrong direction because that's what Jen said. And then the guy said, close the door. That's too late. And then we sat down and then you were like, we got on the wrong train. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, guys, this is the place to be, okay? 916, get on the train, okay? Final thoughts, Ace Comic Con. Exhausting, it was so long, but it was fun. Cool. Same. Oh. <laughs> I liked all the... Shut <laughs> up. Y'all a little blurry, you're really white, but it's okay. I think it's the light. Look, ah! <laughs> Train guy, what is it? Conductor? No. <laughs> yeah, it was a conductor. Is it? Yeah. Oh. The ticket man. <laughs> the ticket <laughs> guy. When the train, he told us how to get. When the train, he told us. <laughs> Let's tell the story. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> he was on the train. He told us how to get back home. <laughs> That's after he saw that we panicked. Yeah. So basically, I'm the brains behind oh. this entire system, oh. and I realized. From the beginning, it was suspect that the train was coming from the side that we're supposed to go home. You should have spoke up. I did, but no one listened no, to me. No, or else you would, if you would have spoke up, we would have been. No, gone. you would have been. You should have been like, wait, guys, don't get on. I don't think this one's no, it. And then we should have gone. Be wrong, but I knew it. You, you should have been confident. Maybe on the. Just stop. Behind the, the yellow line. line. Yeah, you're so really dumb. Good. You're an idiot. Oh my God. Oh, you suck. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>